in mind getting dumped forward or getting dumped back, the thing that was really dictating whether you're gonna get the, you know, the front of your face smashed or the back, of your sp the, the back of your head cracked is where you're putting your weight. Um, this is really important when we reverse rolls now. So instead of being the guy that's doing the, um, the control, we're gonna try and figure out how to get out of a back clench. So he does a you, he does a good arm drag, finds a wrist, gets here. The first thing I do is I put my weight down to a good stable stance. Now if I sit too far back, he just is gonna dump me on my butt. Oh, that sucks, and he's gonna go side control and, and monkey dump me. If I go too far forward, where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get away from you, he's on, on out in the mat. It takes back my back and chokes me out. Or it's close. Makes soup. Makes soup. <gasps> so, um, it's this really hard middle ground of finding that balance and being able to get pressure onto the hands. We're gonna like make ourselves small to then make ourselves big. And as we expand, we're putting weight and pressure into the hands, but not so much that I'm, am I too far back now, right? Oh yeah, I don't like that. So I have to be able to, just like passing the guard, be able to get outside pressure to here to start fighting hands. Now in wrestling and jujitsu, you have to grab multiple digits. Um, in here, I want you to do that so we don't hurt somebody's hand. In real life, I'm taking a pinky off, right? I'm gonna look specifically for a single digit and I'm gonna tear that off. Cause that's also, the hand's gonna also come with it. So um, the first thing we're gonna do, this is what the drill's gonna kinda look like. We have somebody who comes up, gives us a, hey bro, what's your problem? I'm gonna, it's a, it's a, what, call it whatever you want. Like, excuse me, sir. Arm drag to back control, back control to back clench. Now it's this guy's turn to work the drill. He's going to look out chantry, start putting pressure down on the hand, balance and forward. Now the back guy, I'm just kind of test, testing his balance. I'm not being an asshole, but I want to make sure that his balance is evenly distributed. So if I feel him going too far back, I'm going to give him a little, okay, and he should adjust. All right, that's good. Now if he starts leaning too far forward, I'll give him a little bit movement forward. I'm just facilitating him starting to feel what this balance and timing feels like. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. You're also like a brace for them. So what I don't want you to be is like, all right, yep, yep, you went too far back. All right, let's try again. All right, like, don't Like let him know that the balance isn't there and then be a stable backboard to push him back up um, or her, gender neutral. And we uh, get better at fighting hands. This is hand fighting at the most elemental stage. So hand fighting will go to stopping chokes, hand fighting goes to getting out of um, back mount, hand fighting goes to getting out of back clench. Hand fighting is, is the first thing that we tell somebody in wrestling is fight the hands, fight the hands, turn and face the problem. Like you'll hear that at NCAA level wrestling. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna do an arm drag to a back clench, back clench to hand fighting. Just focusing on balance right now.